Okay, let's do a little something different today. For our warm up, we'll do a sun salutation. So bring your hands to your heart, shoulders down, mountain pose. Get that core activated, lengthen up through your spine and stack everything for support. Look at your hands, inhale, bring them up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs and bring them a little bit back, a little upper body opener. Exhale, follow your hands all the way down and into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just hang, move your neck around a little, get it released. Lift your sitting bones, slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, straighten everything in that halfway up stretch. Exhale back down, palms together and inhale, and to your heart. And we'll start at the end of the mat and do the same thing. So again, mountain pose, stretch your spine, we'll look at your hands, follow them up. Pull them a little back if you like the back bend. Keep lifting your heart so that upper body gets a little bit more. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and all the way over into ragdoll. Slide your hands up on your shins, straighten and stretch in that halfway up stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to the floor under your shoulders. We'll step the right foot way back into a lunge. Bring your hip down and not your knee. Stretch your head forward. Just feel that stretch along the back of your body. And then press your hands to the floor and step that front foot back into down dog. So a nice V shape. Press into your hands equally, arms next to your ears, head reaching toward your hands, sitting bones way up. Sink those heels toward the floor and pull your ribs toward your thighs. So the whole body in a nice V-shaped position. And then we're gonna lift the heels, drop the knees to the floor, and we're gonna slide forward. So bring your elbows slightly down, chest and chin forward, and slide all the way onto your belly and come up into a little low cobra. Shoulder blades toward your waist, chest forward. Chin a little bit toward your chest so that back of the neck keeps stretching. And a nice upper body back then. Shoulder blades toward your waist, elbows in toward your sides. And then we're going to go back up into down dog. So tuck toes under. Come to your knees. Pull your hips way back toward your heels, arms next to your ears. And then press into the base of your toes as you lift your hips. And again, sink your heels down toward the floor. Once more, that nice V shape. So everything going from the sitting bones forward straight and from the sitting bones down into the heels straight. Take a breath there, just take a moment. And then we're gonna take the right foot and put it between the hands. So, okay for some people. Bring your hips up, shoulders over your wrists and step that foot forward. If it doesn't quite make it into the lunge position, just pull it with your hand along your heel until that foot is right under your, uh, your knee. And then push forward into ragdoll. Take a moment there and hang, palms together. And again, bring your hands to your heart, all the way to the ceiling and into the back bend. I'm just gonna to step to the other side. You can stay where we are if you can still see. And we'll do the other side. So balancing the body. Again, arms are toward the ceiling, thumbs coming back into the back bend, heart lifting for that upper body back bend just a little bit more. Keep looking up, but not too far behind you. You don't wanna crunch the neck. And then exhaling again, come on back into ragdoll and release and hang. Hands up on your shins, under your knees, everything straight and stretching. And then bending your knees, hands under your shoulders. This time the left foot steps way back for a good lunge position. So again, knee above your ankle, not going out to the side or sinking in. And that hip coming down so that from your ankle, knee and shoulder, everything is aligned up with that hip. 
And then pressing your hands to the floor, step back and come into down dog. Arms next to your ears, sitting bones lifting nice and high, head toward your hands and heels toward the floor. Get that whole body nice and straight and V-shaped. And then lift up your heels, sink your knees to the floor and come down, sliding forward, chest leading into Cobra. So there you are on the mat, the lower body, remember, does nothing. Those feet stay shoulder width apart or hip width apart. And the arms pull in towards your sides as those shoulder blades go towards your waist. Heart focus forward and up. And remember, don't crunch that neck too far. So don't look too far forward and lift the chin just a little bit with the heart as your focus. Take a moment and breathe in the back bend. And then pressing into your hands. Again, tuck your toes, pull back. You can go all the way first and then up, or you can just go directly up into down dog. And again, get your body aligned, sitting bones lifting high so that that stretch from your hands back through your sitting bones and down into your heels feels supportive. Take a moment and breathe. Focus on your left foot and bring it all the way up between your hands as much as you can. Or just again, pull it behind the ankle and get it up there. Once again, keep that hip low in your lunge position. Stretch the whole body. And then press forward into that release of ragdoll. Just feel your body. Palms together, inhaling and coming all the way up and into mountain pose. And we'll just do one today, just to get that body moving a little bit. Take a moment, feel what's going on as that energy is flowing. Remember that inner concentration is your yoga practice, so don't just be going through the motions, but be observing how to incrementally improve everything along the way. And again, bringing your hands to your heart, allow your body to stretch up through the crown and bring those hands high, separate, swan diving forward. So chest and chin lead a little bit, come parallel to the floor, get everything stretching way out through the fingertips, back through the sitting bones, out through the crown, as straight as you can with your legs as well. And then drop into ragdoll, pull in a little deeper, pull your forehead towards your legs if you love it. Get that back, getting a good stretch. And then release, hands to the front. And again, just one more winding up, coming back and into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down. And then bring your hands behind you and clasp them, press them toward the floor and lift that heart just a little bit, coming into the upper body for just a gentle little back bend. So you can go just a little bit, or you can go even further, pushing your head back. See if you can keep your hips above your ankles as you lift your heart a little higher toward the ceiling and push those hands straight down so you get a good opening across that heart and chest area. And then coming back upright and releasing back to mountain pose, just feel that area getting a little more stimulated. And then we're going to do the same thing. So bring the hands behind you, but clasp the fingers the opposite way. So put the other thumb outside, other finger outside. And again, press down toward the floor with the hands as you lift the heart and look up. And again, just see if you can keep the hips right above your ankles. Shoulder blades down towards your waist. Shoulders kind of a little bit toward each other, but not too much. More down toward your waist as well. And just feel that whole heart area open. And then chin toward your chest as you inhale and come back up. And again, feel the circulation. Notice the energy flowing in your body. And then we're going to support the back. So heel of your palm right about your shoulder blades, lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your waist, toward your hips. And then pull your elbows toward each other. And again, feel that heart area opening across the upper body. Keep that support on your lower back. And again, another little back bend looking up. 
not too far for that neck. Keep stretching your neck. And lift the heart. Keep breathing. Keep pulling those elbows toward each other. And just feel your body back bending as much or as little as you need to do. And then chin toward your chest, releasing and coming up. Take a moment, feel that upper body getting a little bit more energized. And we're going to work these muscles right along the top of your shoulder area. So just tip your ear over to one shoulder, keeping everything facing forward in that pose. Just feeling that stretch along the side of your neck. As you relax, make sure both shoulders stay down, no hunching up. And then the tide you're tipping toward, bring that hand up. Just add a little weight to the side of your head. Not pressure, just weight. And then push the other hand to the floor, either fingertips down, or you can flex that hand and push the heel of the palm down. That'll make it a little bit more stretch along that side of your shoulder. Take a moment and breathe. Just relax into that position. And then relaxing your arm and removing the other one. Tip your head back up. Feel the difference. Remember, notice what your body is doing in your yoga practice. And of course, we're going to balance and do the other side because that's also what we do. So once more, everything straight as you just tip that head over toward the other side. Feel this side now stretching. Just relax it, don't force it. Keep both shoulders down and bring the hand you're tipping toward up. And again, just a little extra weight for that side of your neck to get a little more stretched. Stay there or push the fingers down or the heel of your palm down. Maximize or minimize, remember personal practice. Do what's right for your body. Keep breathing and relaxing. Allow your body to release a little deeper, incrementally moving, but not too much. And then releasing the arm and the other arm and tipping your head back up. Again, just feel what's going on all across your shoulders. And then bringing your arms out at shoulder level, we're going to turn the palms up, spread the fingers, and some nice circles. So big circles to start with. And then getting gentler. And then bring them straight out to the sides and turn the palms down. Still spreading out those fingers, reaching to the sides, crown stretching up, and circle the other way. So big circles to start with. Keep moving around and slowly making them smaller. And then stopping the circles, just stretching out. Keep everything straight and stretched, hips right above your ankles, and then push the shoulder fingers to one side. Feel the stretch along the side. And then back to the center, stretch the other way. And back to the center. Turn your palms up, bring those arms overhead, swan dive over, and let the arms relax and let go. Take a moment, lift your sitting bones, stretch those legs, tucking your chin just a little bit. Slide the hands up under your knees again. Get a good stretch in that halfway up, stretch everything straight. And then back in your ragdoll, palms together, inhaling, hands to your heart. I'll go ahead all the way up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at those hands. And again, a little upper body back bend, pulling those thumbs back as far as you want for a nice upper body back bend, lifting the heart. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to your chest and release into mountain pose. Feel what's going on through that upper body. And we'll do a little more. So bring those arms out again to shoulder level. Bring the thumbs into your palm and wrap your fingers just gently around. And then turn one fist up and leave the other one down. And then we're going to rotate them. So bring the one that's up down and the one that's down up. And then do the other way. Keep pushing out through the fists and up through the crown. Keep that core activated. And just keep rotating those fists one way and then the other. And then notice what 
parts of your arms are working and bring it up, including your elbow as you move those arms and hands. And then keep going and move the upper body or upper arm as well. And then as you get to your shoulder, really involve that shoulder, push it forward as the fist goes down and push it back as the fist goes up. One side going one way, one side going the other way. You can emphasize that as much or as little as your shoulders and arms want. Just feel what's going on all the way across. See if you can get all the way to the middle of your back right along the spine. And just keep arms at shoulder level, keep pushing out through the fists, keep moving those arms and shoulders around, and then start just minimizing. Relax those shoulders, just move the arms and fists. And then finally, just back to the fists, up and down. And then stop, turn both fists down, spread the fingers out, and shake your arms. Shake your shoulders. Get everything releasing. Feel what's going on all through that whole upper body. And one more time, hands to your heart. Once more, inhale, bring those hands high. And again, upper body back bend, lifting your heart, hands behind you as far as you like. And then standing upright, swan dive, coming forward, chest and chin slightly leading, and then stretch the whole back parallel to the floor. So bring your chin back toward your chest a little, and the sitting bones and crown go opposite directions. Shoulder blades toward your waist, fingertips reaching way out, and then drop into ragdoll one more time, pulling in if you like with your hands behind your legs, Get a good stretch across that upper back. And once more, back with the arms in the front and another roll up, just gently into mountain pose. And then if you've got a wall or a door near you, we're gonna use that next. So go ahead over there. So as you face the wall, you want your feet hip width apart, your body in mountain pose, and put your hands right in front of your shoulders on the wall. And then bring the hands up about the length of your palms, a little bit higher. So your heels of your palms are about temple level. Press your palms, spread your fingers, press your palms into the wall or the door, and take a step back so that you are a little bit feeling that chest and upper body opening. And then we're going to keep pushing the sitting bones back until your hips are right above your heels. And let that chest drop, shoulder area drop, heart drop, but keep the crown reaching up toward your hands. So you're getting a good upper body sinking as you're in that position, but you're making sure that the heart area is the focus of that back bend. So again, hips, Sitting bones keep pushing back. Head keeps reaching toward your hands up toward the ceiling, but the chest keeps sinking down toward the floor as much as feels right for you today. Lengthen sitting bones and crown reaching away from each other. Just keep dropping that heart area. Take a moment and breathe. And then tuck your chin slightly toward your chest, bend your knees a little bit, take a step forward, and release, bring your arms down next to your body. Feel again what's going on as that circulation across your chest and shoulders increases. And then we're going to bring one hand to the wall, and then turn that hand sideways, step your body in, and bring that up forearm along the wall as well. So your palm is pressing into the wall and your lower arm is also. And then we're gonna open the shoulder a little bit more by turning your body toward the center of the room away from the wall or the door. So just keep moving your feet around and feel that shoulder getting a little bit more open there. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> And then 
breathing. Keep <clears throat> moving your body around as far as it wants to go with that hand and forearm still there. And that shoulder opening maybe a little bit more. But be gentle. It can overdo. It can go too far. So don't overwork your shoulder. And then slowly turn back toward the wall. Release that arm. And just feel that that arm is maybe a little longer. And of course, we're going to do the other arm as well. So the other arm, <clears throat> hand goes on the wall, right at shoulder level, fingertips turning away, and then step in, get that forearm again on the wall, and start turning your body away from the hand. And again, feel that shoulder. You may notice that one side is easier than the other. Just be gentle, do what's right for your shoulder on this side. Take a breath, exhale, and relax. Remember, relaxing lets things release. Maybe you can go a little further then toward the center of the ring or away from the wall or door. But don't overwork the shoulder. Keep breathing. And then as you exhale once more, turn back toward the wall, fingertips up and release and feel again how that shoulder is working on that side. Take a moment in mountain pose just to return to your mat and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bring those hands up. Another nice little upper body back bend if you love it. Exhale and continue all the way into ragdoll. And then come on down into child's pose for our floor transition. Bring your forehead down, let those shoulders relax. Take a moment to breathe, feel the whole spine get a good stretch. And then inhaling, come on up and slide off and into staff position. So sitting bones a little behind you, remember you can pad if you need to, press those legs out away from you and relax through the shoulders. So lots of upper body work. We're gonna do a little more with the spine. We'll do our diving dolphin so that that whole spine gets a little bit more work today. So bring one foot up to your inner thigh, knee over to the side, press those sitting bones away from you a little more if that helps. And then bend your other knee, and bring it near your hip or wherever it comfortably goes. So this hip, the, the second one that leg you bent, that hip will be a little bit up that spine because we want to stretch the spine, get a good lengthening through it so we can twist. And we're going to turn to that first knee you bent. So as you turn, the whole body turns, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning toward that knee. Hands on your leg or the floor, your choice. And we're going to dive our dolphin. So going underwater, exhale, tuck your chin, bring your forehead down toward your knee, and then rotate your face up toward the sun and the sky, looking up, lifting your heart, and coming into that back bend on your inhalation up. So go ahead, exhaling down under the water, inhaling, leaping to the sun and the sky. And be your playful dolphin so you can go as quickly or as slowly as your dolphin wants to swim today. Exhaling down. Inhaling, feeling those lungs and chest expand on your way up. Feel that heart area across your back, getting a nice rounding as you exhale and dive under as well. And again, just kind of focus through that upper body. And as you go through the range of motion, moving your whole spine and using your whole lung capacity. And then the next time you come up to the top, pause. And as you exhale, turn back to the center and release your legs back into staff position. Feel a little more circulation. Just kind of observe how your body is working as we dive our dolphin and you know, we need to swim the other way. So once again, sitting bones a little behind you and bringing the foot up to your inner thigh and knee coming over toward the side as much as it likes today. Other knee bending, heel coming back and letting that hip do just a little bit up so you can move that whole spine into the twist. 
Lengthen from the bottom of the spine through the crown. Exhale, turn toward that first knee a bit. Ribs back, exhaling, tuck the chin in a little bit, diving down, forehead toward your knee. And then face forward, crown up, coming heart hug into that sun and sky, backward bend. And again, dive your dolphin as much or as little as your body is needing today. Exhaling as you go down, diving deep. Inhaling, leaping up, lengthening through the spine as you back bend on the upper reaches. And again, feel your body, feel your breath, feel that whole spine doing its whole range of motion into the forward bends and backward bends as you move. And again, on an inhalation coming up, just reach toward the sun and the sky, lengthening a little bit more and exhaling back to the center. Once again, just bring those legs back out and into staff position. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. And we're gonna do a little twist as we end today. So sitting bones a little behind you, get a good lengthening through your spine. We're gonna bend the right leg and pull it in near your sitting bones and the knee up toward your chest. And then we're gonna take the right shoulder inside the knee and bring that arm around back toward the hip and then stretch your spine apart. And we're gonna take the left hand around and follow it into the twist. As far as you wanna go, you can bring that hand to the floor behind you or you can reach all the way around and clasp the other hand or get it as far as it wants to go. So pull the knee and shoulder toward each other on that front leg and stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. And then as you exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything moving further. And if you haven't first reached your hand, maybe you will as you deepen your twist. So again, stretch up, bound the breath in, opening the spine, opening your heart, Exhaling, deepening the twist, really pulling that back shoulder further into the twist as well. So maximize or minimize. Remember, twists are always personal practice. And then when you're ready to release, just bring your hands apart and that arm behind you to shoulder level. Follow it back around to the center as you release the arm from your knee and stretch that leg back out. Feel your body a little bit differently twisted, especially through that heart and shoulder area. And of course, we're twisting the other way to balance things out. So once again, bending your knee on the left side, bringing it in toward your sitting bones and knee in toward your heart. Stretch up, bring that left shoulder over the knee and wrap that arm back toward the now stretch and straighten through the whole spine so it has room to twist. Bring the arm around and see if you can clasp on this side. If not, you can keep that hand right behind you on the floor. And then again, stretch the spine long. Exhale, turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, and deepen that twist. Keep the knee and shoulder in the front, pressing into each other, really getting a good opening through that whole shoulder area. I actually had a slightly dislocated shoulder that I relocated during this one time, so don't overdo it if you have sensitive shoulders. But if you're needing a little bit of adjustment, feel free to adjust those knees and shoulders together as much as you need. Take a breath again, lengthen, maximize as much into your twist as you love. And exhaling, release the hands, right at shoulder level, follow it back around as you bring that other arm out to the side again, and extend your leg back into staff position. Feel the twist energy. Notice it activating that meditative connection for our final relaxation. So go ahead and activate the core, rolling down onto your mat, and finding your relaxation posture. 
Take a moment, let those shoulders really sink into the floor, opening across the chest and heart. We did a lot of work there today. Hands, palms up, just releasing that whole upper body, shoulder and chest area. Relax your lower body as well. Move your head around, get that neck releasing, no tension anywhere in your body. Nice deep breaths. Just exhale and let your body sink into that surface beneath you. And let the earth support you completely. Just allow your body to grow heavy and sink. No longer needing to pay any attention to any parts of your body. And as your body softens and sinks, just allow its awareness from your mind to release. And know that as you do that, other thoughts will come to your mind. It's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to think of the past, no need to anticipate the future. You can just forget your body and let it sink into the earth. And allow your mind to just drift as easily as your breath. No focus on the contents of your thoughts. Just let them drift away, unneeded, unnoticed. And as your body relaxes and your mind just frees itself from thoughts, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Find that focus deepening into the peace within. And let that peace fill your mind. Fill your body and just take a few moments and be peace. Of course, if you have time today to keep relaxing longer, take as much time as you want and need. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the breath, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. As you breathe more fully, stretch more completely. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, press the back down, sitting bones toward your heels and draw those heels toward your hips. Bring your knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around however it feels good for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its work today in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your day-to-day. -day. Thanks for joining me.